Hi, I'm Larry McAtee, Ward 3 City Council, and we've got a great show for you this month. We're talking with a representative of the Oklahoma City County Health Department, Andrea Gorey. Andrea, thank you for coming down. Thank you for having me. And you're a native Oklahoman. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Born and raised. <laughs> and you have a favorite color. Oh, yes. Orange. Orange to the bone. But you also uh, saw the light and uh, you got your master's degree from a different institution. Yes, <laughs> yes, I received my master's from OU, absolutely. And you've been with the City County Health for how long? I've been with City County Health Department for two years. I love it there, it's a wonderful facility. Um, a lot of people in the community don't really know everything that we have to offer through our community health services, our clinical services. So it's just a growing organization and we're just happy that we're able to spread the word about it. And that's what we're here today to do, to spread the word about a program that's very, very exciting that's going on called what? My Heart? My Heart, yes. Of course, February is American Heart Month. and so, Valentine's Day. Yes, yes. So show love to yourself by caring about your heart. <laughs> um, so the My Heart program, it is open to all Oklahoma County residents. And what we're doing is trying to prevent heart disease here in Oklahoma by collaborating with community partners like OU Physicians Community Clinic and North Rock Pharmacy. So it's open to all Oklahoma City County residents. It's free of charge. Um, the eligibility criteria, what we're offering, um, if you're between the ages of 25 and 60, um, we have free doctor's visits, free lab visits, and free medication if you have not accessed primary care physicians. So this is intended to uh, try to get ahead of the curve a little bit on heart and, and have a healthy heart so you don't have to go in for some of the more invasive type of things that could happen if it goes south on you. Absolutely. Of course, here in Oklahoma, the leading cause of death is heart disease. And so mm. what we're wanting to prevent are those heart disease risk factors like um, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes. And then if you're simply just overweight or obese and you want to um, enroll in the program, we have our community health workers that are able to um, provide education, basic health education um, to teach you about um, your health and what you can do to prevent heart disease um, in general. So. So if I wanted to get, get involved with this and see if it really fit my lifestyle mm -hmm. and my needs, uh, how would I get in touch with you all? Um, you can give us a call at 419-4049. Um, you can get a hold of us via our website at www.occhd.org, or you can simply just walk into the clinic um, and ask for one of our community health workers. And so upon asking for our community health workers, we can conduct a free health screening for you to know your numbers. A lot of times we don't know if we have um, high blood pressure or high cholesterol unless you're actually tested. Those are known as silent killers, but it is, it's really detrimental to your heart, you know, not to know those numbers. So just come in, ask for one of our community health workers, and we can conduct a health screening free of charge for you. So those key numbers are, again, blood pressure and yes. cholesterol? Blood pressure mm -hmm. and cholesterol um, are the main reasons why people develop heart disease. Um, but we want to combat not only blood pressure and cholesterol, we want to combat diabetes as well. Um, and so when we're looking at that, we want our numbers to be within a certain range. So for cholesterol, we're looking at like total cholesterol, and that should be less than 200 milligrams per deciliter. And so um, if it's above that, what we want to do is talk to you about what you can do. Um, you know, increasing physical activity, um, whether it be 30 minutes or 60 minutes a day. And usually, you know, individuals say time, time is an issue with working out, but we teach them different things like, you know, get in 10 minutes of walking in the morning, 10 in the afternoon, uh, 10 minutes in the evening to get the, that 30 minutes. And it makes a huge difference on, on your cholesterol levels. So instead of taking the elevator from the third floor down here this morning to get to the taping, we probably should have walked up and down yes, the stairs. Yes, take the stairs. <laughs> if it works after our taping is over today. Absolutely. Let's take time out for a crash commercial. Okay, you said that we could contact you through the phone or through the uh, internet. Yes. Give those numbers again. Yes, 405-419-4049, and the website is www.occhd.org. Now, you also said that the, we don't know that much about the Oklahoma City County Health Department, mm -hmm. uh, but you have, lo quote, locations around the city. Yes. Where would those locations be in case I wanted to come by and... and 
do a personal visit. All right. So if you're on the north side, our north campus is located off of Northeast 63rd in Martin Luther King. If you live closer to the south side of town, you can um, access our services um, uh, at our southwest um, 59th location. And then we also have our northwest 10th location. Another great thing about the program is that we have bilingual community health workers standing by as well. Um, so if you speak Spanish, you know, there you have access to this program. We have oh. someone there just for you to speak to. Habla español, señora? Ah, un poquito. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. Don't go any further. <laughs> Corazón. Oh, sí. Did I get sí, that right? Corazón. Ah, sí. very good. <laughs> what else do our listeners need to know? So um, the program has been very successful. Um, since 2014, we've served over 350 individuals in this program, um, and it makes a huge difference. We have individuals who have come into our clinic and have actually had to choose between whether they're going to feed their children or whether they're going to purchase the medication um, on the prescription that was just written by the physician. Well, accessing the My Heart program, you don't have to make that choice. And that's a really tough choice to make. Um, so our community health workers are able to help individuals link to different community resources and community services that they need so that they can learn to take the key role, like take that lead role in their health, um, would not have having to make the sacrifice of choosing between medication and food. Um, you know, the individual came in um, and we were able to connect them with a food box from the regional food bank. And of course, you know, depending on your family size, it depends, you know, that's how many food boxes you get. So if you're a single parent and you have three children, you may be able to receive up to two to three food boxes um, that help you. Um, we've had individuals who come in and receive prescriptions and they say, you know what, I can't afford this medication. I can't afford it. Well, there's no need to. We, we provide that service free of charge. You, this medication is going to be free of charge to you. And if it's a medication that is not listed on our formulary, we're able to link individuals with prescription assistance application uh, programs so that they're able to receive, you know, high medication like it, insulin um, and inhalers free of charge. So what I hear you saying is I really don't have an excuse mm -hmm. not to take care of my body, take care of my heart through exercise, even 30 minutes of walking a day. Mm -hmm. I don't really have an economy excuse. I don't have any money. Mm -hmm. I need to really make the choice to get a hold of you guys right. and see how, how we can plug in so that I can have a healthy heart. Absolutely. And you just mentioned, you know, economy. Think about it. If we take care of ourselves now, it's way cheaper than waiting and not receiving a free health screening and then finding out at a later time that you have diabetes or you have high blood pressure because those can be debilitating diseases. It could lead to disability and ultimately it can lead to death. And so why not take advantage of a free service versus having to be hospitalized and receiving a bill of $56,000 for men or $44,000 for women? That's the amount of a hospital stay for someone with some type of heart disease risk factor. Um, so, you know, when you're having to make that choice, would you rather receive free, free care now or would you rather pay for it later? Bill. Yeah. So you can pay me now or pay me later, <laughs> but the pay me now is free. Exactly. Pay me now is free and you're still able to gain life. You're still able to live a quality life versus down the line leading to debilitating diseases where you may be alive, but is the quality of life there? Are you still able to go out and walk with your grandkids? Are you still able to go out and spend time with your families? So you have to think of the cost, not only money-wise, but think of it, you know, what is it costing you and your family? And now all this that we we're talking about is under this umbrella of the My Heart program. My Heart, absolutely. And that's just one program though within the City County Health Department's uh, array of programs, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there's another program called Total Wellness, and this program is also free of charge to the community. Within this program, you learn um, various things, like you learn about dietary behaviors, dietary behaviors. You learn um, how to lead a healthier lifestyle. Many times people think that a diet is the quick fix, but it's not. 
living a healthier lifestyle is in this total wellness class will teach you how to do just that. A lot of times we don't think about the, um, you know, the what stress does to our body. And stress plays a huge role, a huge role in our health, especially when you're talking about high blood pressure. <laughs> mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. um, this program, the Total Wellness Program, actually teaches us how to manage stress, how to modify our um, plate, you know, not necessarily taking everything away, but just modify it. I can have that piece of cake if I want it, but what am I substituting for that piece of cake? Um, it teaches you to have a support system, the importance of a support system. And that's another thing with the My Heart program. Our community health workers serve as that support system. So you not only see our community health workers in the My Heart program, but you'll also see them while screening via the Total Wellness program. So there's some accountability built in where uh, your, your staff will come alongside mm -hmm. me and say, hey, are you doing what we said we're, you're supposed to be doing? Yes, yes. There is plenty of contact, plenty of follow-up um, to see if you have any questions about what the physician has asked you to do. Um, plenty of help and support on being linked to community resources. You know, sometimes transportation is the barrier for folks to get to their doctor's appointments. Well, our community health workers can assist with that. They can assist with linking you to transportation services that are in the community that are available. Um, sometimes, you know, it may just be the time of day um, with going to a primary care physician. If you can't go to OU Community Physicians Clinic, then what other clinic is there that is open on a Saturday? Our community health workers can link you to clinics out there that best fit your need. So it's all about tailoring the, the service to meet your need. So, in wrapping it up, Andrea, yes. I've been watching the program. Tell me, what should I do? Give us a call. Give us a call at 419-4049 or contact us via the website at www.occhd.org or just stop by. We are waiting on you. We're there for you. And the whole goal is to get my heart Keep it healthy. Keep it so healthy. So that I can enjoy a quality of life. Yes, sir. And my family can enjoy having me around. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Hey, thank <laughs> you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come down and share some of that enthusiastic advice. Uh, I love your enthusiasm, <laughs> and I'm, out of, I'm, I'm encouraged now to take care of myself. Thanks for coming down. Thank you for having you me. You viewers, take this advice. Let's get on top of this health situation. Let's take care of our hearts so that we can live a productive and quality life. May God bless you as you take these ideas into your own life, and thank you for watching. <laughs>